Scientific notation. It's a way we can write really big numbers or really small numbers. So we can write really big numbers or really small numbers using base 10. And if you know anything about the metric system, base 10 is your friend. You can just move the decimal right or left and that shows dividing or multiplying by 10. So maybe you've wondered before, how far are you on Earth from the Sun? Well, that's a really big number, especially if you're talking about how many meters away you are. So for example, the Sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters away. Now that may not mean anything to you right now, but watch what happens. That 11th power means how many spots we move that decimal to the right. So it's going to make it a really big number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to be 1, 5, and then 10 zeros. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a lot of zeros. So scientific notation basically simplifies that number so you don't have to write all that stuff out. That's 150 billion meters away. So notice that we used a ones digit, like 1.5. We used a ones digit 1 through 9 and then multiplied by 10 with an exponent. And we do that for any number in scientific notation. So this number is never going to be um, 10 or greater. And it's never going to be less than 1. Now scientific notation also works for really small numbers. Did you know the human brain has over a hundred billion brain cells? That's a lot of brain power. But how much does just one of these brain cells weigh? One brain cell weighs 1.3. One brain cell weighs 1.3 times 10 to the negative eighth power grams. Well, notice here I have a negative exponent. All that means is this is a really small number. So I move that decimal eight spots to the left to make it smaller. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to have, that's going to equal seven zeros. So a decimal and then seven zeros, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one, three grams. So not very much, right? So big numbers use positive exponents. And these move the decimal to the right side. So that's just like with our example with the sun. So that 1.5 times 10 to the 11th, we just move that decimal to the right 11 spots. Now small numbers are the other way. They go in the other direction. And they use negative exponents. So small numbers use negative exponents and those move the decimal to the left side. So for instance, the 1.3 times 10 to the negative 8, that's going to move our decimal to the left 8 spots. So that exponent tells you how many spots to move it. If it's negative, make it a smaller number. If it's positive, make it a greater number. Now that we get the general hang of it, 
Let's go ahead and convert from standard to scientific notation. And standard notation is just the number without the exponent. And then, of course, scientific notation has the base 10 and the exponent. So here we go, our first example. 82,000. And the first thing I ask is, is this a big number or a small number? By big number, I mean one that's greater than uh, 9, or we could say a number that's 10 or greater. So yeah, this is a big number. So if it's big, that means we need a positive exponent. So I'm going to put that decimal right there. I want it after my first ones digit. So how many spots do I need to move it from where it currently is all the way over there? Well, there's one, two, three, four spots. And that tells me the exponent for my base 10. So I move it times 10 to the fourth. And this really means times 10 times 100 times 1,000 times 10,000 which makes sense because that's 82,000. And that becomes 8.2 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, let's practice one that's really small. So 0 0.00204. Do you know how you would say that number? Think what place value that 4 is in. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. That would be 204 hundred thousandths. Well, anyway, our goal is to move that decimal after that first whole number, or a number that's not zero. So I move it 1, 2, 3, and that gives me a number that's not 0. And that would be 2.04. And then how many spots did I move it? Well, 1, 2, 3. So it would be times 10 to the third power. But hold on a second. This number was really small. And what kind of exponents do we use for really small numbers? Negative exponents. That's 2.04 times 10 to the negative third power. All right, well, if we're asked to convert to scientific notation, and it's already in a base 10, I'll show you some rules that we can use to do that. So, for example, if we had 38.9, the reason that's not in scientific notation, and I'll do times 10 to the fourth, is because it's not after, the decimal is not after the ones place, it's after the tens place. So in other words, we have a number greater than 9, 38, and then the decimal. So this is not in scientific notation, but we can get it there because we, we can break down this one. So we're going to convert that to scientific notation. Just make a note. We're going to convert this. And I know that 38.9 is 3.89. And think, is this a big number or a small number? Well, it's 10 or bigger, so that tells me it's a big number. And so that means I use a positive exponent. And how many spots do I move that exponent? One spot. So one spot brought it to there, so it would just be 3.89 times 10 to the first power. So now check it out. I converted this to 3.89 times 10 to the first. I'm going to write that directly below what I was just working on. And I still have this times 10 to the fourth to bring down. And we've learned that multiplying, if you have the same base, you just add the exponents. 
Wait a second, I didn't say add popcorn, I said just add the exponents. Mm. Alright, so the 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 4th, we just add those like we said, and that would be 10 to the 5th power. And now we're in scientific notation. 3.89 times 10 to the 5th power is now in scientific notation. And as you get better with this, you can just think that you have a number that's bigger, that, that's 10 or bigger. So you're going to have a positive exponent that's adding to that. And how many spots? One spot. So we just added one exponent to that and got 5. All right, let's try one more. Okay, 0 0.043, or 43 thousandths, times 10 to the negative third power. And again, I want to convert this to scientific notation. And then I'll use my exponent rules. So 0 0.043, I'll write that over here. I want to move the decimal one, two spots, so it's 4.3. Now I have a number that's between 1 and 9, and then the decimal. And that would be 4.3 times 10 to the negative second power. Again, the reason it's negative, this number is a small number. So for small numbers, we use negative exponents. And why is it a 2? Because I moved it two spots. So now that I have that, I'm going to write that underneath here. That's 4.3 times 10 to the negative second power. I'm going to bring down my times 10 to the negative third power. So add your exponents, and that's 10 to the negative fifth power. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. And now we're in scientific notation. Hopefully that number is not too small that you can't see it. All right, we're going to step it up a notch. To multiply numbers in scientific notation, we need to group the base 10 numbers together and the decimals together and then multiply. So we're going to use our friend associative property. So let's say that we wanted to combine or multiply 2.2 times 10 cubed multiplied by 4 times 10 to the negative 6th power. Well, this number is in scientific notation, that number is in scientific notation, but we want to group the base tens together and group the decimals together. Well, technically only one of these numbers is a decimal, but I'm going to group the 2.2 with the 4. So it'll be 2.2 times 4. And then I want to group the 10 to the 3rd power with the 10 to the negative 6th power. So I'm grouping my like terms, basically. And that would be multiplied by 10 to the 3rd power and 10 to the negative 6th power. So I'm grouping these together and these together. And 2.2 times 4, just think 22 times 4 would be 88. And we have a decimal there, so it's 8.8. .8. And then 10 to the 3rd and 10 to the negative 6, add the exponents since we have the same base. And 3 plus negative 6 is negative 3, so that would be times 10 to the negative third power. And now you are in scientific notation. So really, it's all about grouping. The tens together and the decimals together. And now everybody's happy. So whether you're checking out tiny little cells or looking at the night sky, scientific notation can help explain those numbers in a small way. That's way better than writing 20 zeros and then a 2-3, don't you think?